In this video, I'm going to show you how to swap out a tank cartridge on a Flushmate waterless pressure toilet. This particular toilet is about 25 years old, and to my knowledge it has been used thousands of times, and the cartridge has never been swapped out. The first thing you'll need is a C100500-KIT kit from Flushmate. Now these run about $35 at a professional plumbing supply store in your local area maybe. You're also going to need a set of pliers, needle nose pliers, a paper clip, and a wrench or something strong to provide added torque when using the pliers. The first thing you're going to do is replace this little screen thing included in the kit. First, turn off the water supply to the toilet and flush it to release any pressure that's built up. Next, detach the main water line hose from the toilet. And then use the paper clip to remove the old screen do bop. Looks pretty nasty. Next, insert the new screen. Then you're going to replace this little rubber thingamabobber with a new one that's also included in the kit. To do that, you're going to remove the small pressure knob on the tank. And as you can see, this little doohickey is pretty gross too. So we're going to use some needle nose pliers to pull that little bugger out. And then replace it with the brand new one. Be sure to only tighten that finger tight. Next, it's time to remove and replace the main cartridge. First, unscrew the flusher piece. Once that's off, take a pair of pliers and turn them upside down and insert them into the cartridge top to unscrew it. If the cartridge won't budge, grab a wrench or maybe a long screwdriver or something and add you some torque. Now this toilet probably been used thousands of times over its decades of service, so it might take a little effort to get it out. We had to add so much pressure we thought it would break, but it didn't. Once loosened, you shouldn't need the wrench anymore, and can eventually just pull it out. Would you look at that, she sure has seen her day. Now that the old cartridge is out, it's time to insert that new one. First, you're going to drop it in there. And then you're going to screw it in until you can see one thread line above that cartridge. Next, you turn the water line back on. And then you begin screwing in the new cartridge with applied pressure. You want to turn it real slow, about a quarter of an inch every five seconds. Until you don't hear no more water flowing or pressure building up. But once that's done, Put that flush cap back on and give her a little nudge. Flushing just fine. Finally, put the lid back on and flush her again. If for some reason she keeps running, adjust that flush knob underneath until you've got it just right. Thanks for watching and may you have many happy bathroom moments in the future using your flush mate waterless pressure toilet. Thank you.